three parts are to be assembled so that parts C and D are positioned inside the C-shaped part A. If we want the clearance G to be at least 1.5 millimeters, and we know that the tolerance of the dimension D is 1 millimeter, what should the nominal value for this dimension be? This is the first example for the tolerance loops in normal distribution video, link below. So make sure to watch that one first before watching this. During that video, we learned that the tolerance for interference or clearance dimensions can be calculated as the sum of the tolerances for the other dimensions. This is important because we know that the nominal value for dimension D can be calculated if we have the nominal values for every other dimension. This means that we need the nominal value for the clearance G. Since the minimum value of G is equal to its nominal value minus its tolerance, the nominal value is the minimum value plus the tolerance. This tells us that we should design our part D with a dimension D of 38.5 millimeters. Now this procedure always works, but it feels more like a recipe that I'm following than actually understanding what we're doing. So let's use common sense to check our answer. The minimum clearance value will happen when dimension A of part A is small and its thickness B, part C, and part D are big. If the maximum dimension for D is 39.5 and we know its tolerance is 1 millimeter, then its nominal value is 38.5 millimeters. For a second example on tolerance stackups, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.